I'm Felix Hanke. I'm a senior scientist in Biovia at Dassault Systems, and I'm also a member of the uh, Bioscience Council. I work on the atomistic side of modeling batteries, so specifically that involves uh, predicting properties of molecules that are uh, used in battery materials, in electrolytes, in electrodes. And I also work heavily with uh, teams on the more macroscopic scale, so the um, cell scale modeling to integrate what we do on the molecular scale into the higher levels to be able to model um, batteries from the atom all the way to, to vehicle level. The so system Tim as a whole is working on all levels that are relevant for a battery. So specifically, we link the atomic level performance of molecules, materials, lithium ions, uh, anode and cathode materials to the uh, performance of individual battery cells, which then get also linked together at, uh, at pack levels and all the way up to vehicle level. Um, specifically, we're interested in uh, understanding the, the battery behavior uh, across all these levels and to link all of these, but also in um, cell um, degradation, so that, that's the battery lifetime, cell safety, that's the fact that it doesn't blow up so often, uh, and things like that. Okay, so with the um, materials modeling tools at Tassel Systems, we can now uh, really follow the lithium ions across all parts of the battery. So for a battery discharge, we start lithium ions in the uh, cathode, uh, follow it through the electrolyte, and then uh, see where it ends up in the anode. Um, so for simulations of the electrolyte, we use uh, molecular dynamics. Um, specifically, we start from um, designing the entire formulation, so the composition of the electrolyte in silico, uh, using molecules that have been optimized uh, for specific properties such as flammability or lack of flammability, uh, such as viscosity, such as the ability to conduct lithium. Uh, you also need to have a few counter ions in there because just lithium isn't enough. Um, need negative ions. And then we run our molecular dynamics simulation and uh, using advanced analysis of the trajectories that appear from these molecular dynamics simulations, uh, we then compute the physical properties that are required to understand the entire battery cell at a higher level. So here I'm talking about the connectivity, I'm talking about lithium diffusion coefficients, but I'm also talking about the relative amount of charge that's transported by the lithium ions versus by the counter ions which do not intercalate into the electrodes. Um, uh, at the same time, we also develop tools to uh, quantum mechanically investigate the, both the electrodes, so the, the uh, intercalation of lithium in the anode and in the cathode. And from that information, we derive uh, important properties such as the uh, uh, voltage curves that you can expect with a particular combination of anode and cathode. Uh, but we can also compute things like the, the swelling, which uh, really affects the mechanics of the overall battery cell, because you don't want them to explode because it's well too much. Um, but also, uh, yeah, elastic properties of the, of the anode and cathode, which again comes back to modeling it at a higher level. And all of this data is being fed into uh, our simulation tools at larger scales. Uh, so the so system is developing a, uh, a complete solution for predicting uh, battery behavior, modeling battery behavior from the atom all the way to um, pack level and, and beyond.